Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this battle of the heavyweight schedule for three three-minute rounds. And introducing first, fighting out of the black corner, this five-time Brazilian champion is also a Pan American and South American champion. His professional record, 33 wins with seven losses, 17 of those wins by knockout. He is undefeated inside the glory ring. At six feet three inches tall, 1.91 meters, he weighed in at fight time at 251 and one half pounds, 114.2 kilos. He's here tonight in Brussels, fighting out of Brasilia, Brazil, and moving up three to number seven on the glory world rankings. Introducing Guto Innocent! Here now is his opponent standing on my left and fighting out of the white corner. He made his debut in Brussels at Glory 2 almost five years ago. His record, 31 wins with just five losses, but 26 of those wins have come by knockout. At six feet, nine inches tall, 2.05 meters, he went in at 269 and one half pounds, 122.3 kilos. Fighting out of Morocco, ladies and gentlemen, Jamal the Goliath Ben Sadi. And your referee in charge of this bout is John Axwood. Okay, guys, listen up. I want a clean fight, so obey my commands. Break is break, stop is stop. Okay? Any questions? The club. You talk about two contrasting styles, Rico. What do you expect to see in this fight? Um, I expect definitely, of course, from uh, Jamal going for the big knockout and innocent, like, uh, like he always does, move around, light. And that should be his style. Moving around, light feet it, and keeping Jim. Oh, oh, he has to watch out for that. He has to be more light, hands up, because he can't have his hands so low versus a guy like Jamal, with such so much power. They're actually trying to, Team Hammers is trying to control that power of Jamal Ben Sadiq. So see if he can set it up a little bit more than just getting overly aggressive with it. And Jamal should watch out with that with that hand with that left hand so low. Because if yeah, if Guto just throws that spinning kick, it's gonna come over that hand and He's gonna get hit. Not only is Jamal Bin Sadiq a big man, he's got a huge heart. He is a cancer survivor and hopes to inspire cancer survivors around the world. He has a big heart, a really nice guy, but in the ring, he is a monster. You see how tight he is? Jamal is really tight. He should be a little bit more loose as well. Ruto shakes that kick off. Guto needs to be careful not to be a standing target. He's got to hit and move a little bit. Don't stand in those corners. That's right, Joe. Definitely not in the corner. Because he can't get out now. Throw that spinning back kick and get out. Jamal has promised to be more patient, but is he being too patient right now? Well, I can see him being a little bit more active with punches, uh, especially that jab. Oh, a big body shot from Jamal. You gotta look at every time Sadiq throws that kick, he does damage because he's so big. So he yeah. needs to kick a little bit more himself. And you see the impact that, that he's made it making on uh, on Guto with those kick, with this with those kicks. So he should be doing keep doing that. But especially from when Guto's in that south part, and if I'm Sadiq, I'm throwing that body kick. Yeah, then it has the full power, the full range as well. Sadiq. Just, you just you see you see the movement of Gudo that's uh, that's making Jamal nervous, especially in the corner. He's moving, and then Jamal just hesitates of coming in. And Rico, I think many opponents lose the fight before it even happens. The intimidating size and stare down from Sadiq. Yeah, but I don't feel like uh, Gudo is in, in, intimidated. He just he just lo I even think he's too loose with his hands so low. That's dangerous. Good front kick. It might be a strategy for Gudo to try to hold off in the first round. Try to maybe slow down that power, but... He tried to take down there. <laughs> Not sure why Gudo's getting comfortable in those corners. No. He 
He's definitely not impressed with, with the power, I believe, of Jamal. But So round one went by pretty quickly. Jamal certainly got the better shots in, but not that huge, overwhelming right hand that we all thought we would see at some point. Joe, let's look at your keys to victory in this fight. Well, as Rico and I were saying, for Jamal Ben Sadiq, he really needs to try to <clears throat> use his power and establish really try to establish and control the center of the ring and try not to wait too long, be a little bit more active and keep mixing those kicks on the outside. But you see that Jamal is not really comfortable with Gudo's movement. And he's moving, he's thrown those feints, and that's why uh, Jamal is hesitated of coming in. Well, Gudo uh, should be using his movement, but he is getting a little bit comfortable in the corners for my liking, but he needs to keep using those feints like he's doing, Definitely. try to keep Sadiq I'm kind of guessing what's coming. Definitely. He should score a little bit more as well. Based on size alone, you would think that Guto would have the edge the longer this fight goes. But Jamal has been pretty, uh, hasn't been too active with the right hand. He's been saving his energy a little bit. That's the problem with, uh, with Guto now. He's, like, he's too comfortable. He's, he's waiting too long and you should be making those combinations and just score points. Gutos did extra leg work for this fight. In fact, he posted an Instagram video where he was pushing a car up a hill in Brazil. <laughs> Said that's standard, standard course for us down there in Brazil. So if he can push a car up a hill, he can certainly Take a push punch. Jamal Ben Sadiq around <laughs> a little bit. See, Guto just landed a good low kick. That could be a good shot for him. But he just has to be careful because that's going to set up the nice right hand for Sadiq. Jamal was able to see that one coming. So he should, he should uh, try to yeah, feint it, feint it off first and then throw the spinning kick or do something. But waiting this long and only throwing single shots is not going not gonna to take him to the win. Spinning back fist connects, but you got to put your hand higher if you want to hit him in the face. That's for damn sure. Well, Gudo, Gudo's other option is to try to get on the inside and fight head to head with him, but that's kind of hard because I think he's still intimidated by that power. Well, at some point, Gudo has to make a decision. Am I here to survive or am I here to win? Yeah, you're here for a fight, guys. Come on. And what's what's up with Jamal? He's, he's, why is he waiting so long? If he's not intimidated by, by Gudo, just... Just waltz him down, you know, just keep walking in. Nice overhand. A little more activity now from the Brazilian. But like you said, he's got Gudo back in the corner and lets him out. Be careful with Jamal. What? He should, he should throw a combination first or something, do something first before he throws the, the spinning back kick because you see it coming from miles away. Why is Jamal waiting? He's in the corner. Come on, do he something. Needs, he needs to kick. He needs to mix his punches. Even a nice Step solid back. low kick for Sadiq. Try to shut down that movement of Gudo. Yeah, or the, that, bo the like, that body talked kick. about in the first round. He, he threw that like that There's one. one. That's, that's what the one, the one we were talking about. Every, every time he throws it, he does damage. Yeah. Set it's, it up maybe with some straight right. punches. Stay yeah. active. You see Gudo slowing down. Trying to take down sometimes. <laughs> and another kick from Jamal. Ten seconds to go here in round two. All single shots. They both see all, all shots and actions coming. So knockout is going to be very difficult in this situation. Here's a look at highlights from round two. That left hand connected, Joe. Yeah, he's doing a good job when he throws, but just not enough. And Gudo needs to be careful just jumping in there like that. If he's going to jump in or spin like Rico was saying, he needs to set it up with a, a, a more combinations, not just that single shot right out of the right out of the distance. Rico, if you're in Guto's corner, what are you telling your fighter right now? Hey, it's, it's all or nothing now because I think Jamal is slightly ahead because of the pressure he's giving, but in the end, he's not scoring too much. Yeah, it's it's so close. It's, it's, like I said, it's pretty boring again. Well, if you look at the, the fight metrics stats, Sadiq has only landed 12 power shots in two rounds, and Gudo only eight. 
You train eight weeks for a fight like this. You put your heart and soul into it. You only got nine minutes to get it done. And right now, neither fighter seems to be willing to take that risk, take that big chance. Let's see if it happens here in round three. Only three minutes to go in this heavyweight fight. Jamal Big Ben Sadiq and Guto Inocent. Like the movement that that movement that he's doing is, is perfect, but he should do he should get his advantage out of that. Look, that's good. And then uh, then he's in combination. Pop up and get out again. He did throw some good low kicks at the end of those punches, so maybe that can do some damage against Sadiq, but Both these men undefeated in their last four glory fights. Somebody's gonna lose tonight. And the way he's looking now, it's gonna be Gudo. But just slightly, but... It's basically coming down to the fifth scoring criteria, which is aggressiveness. Yeah. And Sadiq is definitely has the, the advantage controlling the center of the ring. Well, Rico, who do you think deserves to fight you next for the world title if you could pick your opponent? Oh, it's difficult, man. Uh, for me, I have the feeling I'm, I, I fought everybody, but like if uh, Jamal with his big mouth once, he can get it. Oh, nice low kick. You saw the impact of that one. And it, was, and it wasn't even, it was just body weight. It wasn't really explosive, just he threw it and you saw the impact it had on that leg. So he should throw a few more of those. So you've seen nothing from Jamal Ben Sadiq that would worry you at all if you were nothing, to fight him? Nothing. Not his speed, not his power. If he's already scared from, from uh, of Gudo's movement, how scared is he going to be in my movement? Jamal being a little more was, active. Yeah, that was a good jab from Jamal's side. I like when Jamal throws straight punches and then mixing some kicks. Gudo just doesn't seem to know what he needs to do. And Jamal seemingly thinks, I've got this fight won, so why do I have to do anything? Nice. That was better. Look, that movement is perfect, but get out of there and throw some combinations. It's all or nothing now. If you want to win, at least. Yeah, he has to start putting some combinations together. In my opinion, I'd go punches to low kicks because Sadiq keeps exiting, and it's a perfect time to land that low kick. Yeah, no doubt. And what you see is that Jamal is only throwing single shots. So Gudo, Gudo knows that. So he should make a combination of two or three and score some points and get out. Then he knows Jamal is going to only throw one single shot and get in again. Couple good jabs from Sadiq. The crowd imploring the big fella to let it go. Ten seconds left here in round three. Give us a fight, gentlemen. Yeah, too late, guys. How happy can you be with a victory like this? Come on. Well, we'll see if indeed Jamal Ben Sadiq did enough to win the decision when we return. All right, let's check out our highlights from this heavyweight co-main event, Jamal Ben Big Sadiq and Guto Inocent. Well, there wasn't too much action in this fight and a lot of shots were being thrown as singles, but it seemed that that pressure and the aggressiveness of controlling the ring and constantly coming forward uh, would have given Sadiq the advantage. Guto was trying to move and fight on the outside, but I still think he was a little intimidated by that power, which slowed down his output. Here is our fight statistics, strike stats, not a lot to talk about. 29 total landed from Ben Sadiq and only 16 from Guto Inesich. The official decision now from Tim Hughes. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of kickboxing, we go to the judges' scorecard. Our five judges seated ringside score the bout 30-27 all. A unanimous decision for your winner, Jamal Ben Sadiq. Let's go into the ring now. Whitney Miller trying to track down our winner, Jamal Big Ben City. Jamal, congratulations on an incredible performance tonight. I know you were looking for the knockout. You didn't get it. How do you feel about it? Uh, I feel very good, but uh, you know what I want, yes? I, uh, I have said yesterday, 
I want Rico, man. I waited too long for this. I beat them Let's once, so where is Rico? Come into the ring, man, come. I waited too long for you. How do you feel about this matchup? For me, this is this isn't this isn't even a challenge. People saw this fight. How boring was this fight? I almost fell asleep. It was a tw tw 29 actions in a full <laughs> 20 29 actions. Fuck him, you know. I beat him once. I beat them once. It's nothing. He told me, hey, give me. He told me, he told me, butter did this, butter did that. I am not butter man. I am knock you once. I was I was a little boy. So tell the tell the audience. Tell so, the audience. So, what, what was what was the problem tonight then? You couldn't you couldn't even knock him, get him in the corner. He was in the corner standing all night. So where were you? What were you doing? Were you scared of him? <laughs> oh my God! Oh, but this is this is so exciting. This is what kickboxing is about, man. We're trying to we're, we're making a fights and let's make it happen, man. I'm ready for this guy. I'm ready for any guy. But if he wants it, let's do it. We got this. Thank you, guys. Who's excited? All right, so perhaps we'll see it next. Rico Verhoeven and the Goliath.